this whole area is the West Elk Mountains. So from the starting point to the finishing point in a straight line is about 20 miles. I went between 50 and 60 miles, I think. I'm going to lug my 50 pound. Did you say that again, the date? I have to figure out what to do next here. So I ripped my, uh, my tent stuff bag on. Uh, branch there, so I'm not alone, but um, I'm not, I'm never alone, right? The Lord is with me. On this day, I stumbled and fell on these rocks at one point, and that's probably when I lost the map. And I'm wondering to myself, did I really decide to climb down there and then walk all across it? most of the way across it in one day. Am I nuts? <laughs> Am I Superman? I even get serenaded. I can listen to that all day. I'm just gonna stick my feet in. Oh, it's cold. What's amazing is there's no wind. You'd think in the mountains they'd catch all the wind or create all the wind. I might be the only one within miles, the only person. This is my second nearly disastrous fall. Thank God I didn't tr turn an ankle when I, my foot got caught between those rocks. Today is my <clears throat> 65th birthday, and to me, there's no better trail lunch than Triscuits, salami, and cheese. I don't know how it happened, but I'm lost. For my birthday meal, dark chocolate cheesecake. It's really good. Um, yeah, very rich. Uh, it's supposed to be two servings, and if you eat both of them yourself, you're getting 600 calories. <laughs> Can you tell I love porcupine cone? It's pristine, beautiful meadow. Post. Uh, what a difference. What a difference. This is it. This is one of the best places to camp, although I do like way up high on rocks too. Yeah, you can call me crazy. I just spent over two and a half hours climbing up this thousand foot plus slope from down there where maybe you can see the trail and uh, there's a lot of loose rock and loose soil and it was really hard and scary so, but I made it I'm alive and I'm thankful but it was one of the hardest things physically I've done this is the view from where I'm spending Wednesday night. Didn't didn't plan to be here, 
but I'm on the trail, fortunately, and I have water. It's a hailstorm, and I'm on a ridge at 11,000 feet. Lord help me. Psalm 147 says he makes the grass grow in the mountains. I wrote, he sure does. This is, what is it, Elk Creek? Elk Creek Campground, Elk Creek Campground at Curriconti. On the trailer and my trying to go away. This is windier than anything I experienced in the mountains.